Hey guys, Jay Stuckerbats here from Underhill Forge. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video because, boy, you know, I have always wanted a mechanical hammer. And it seems like every time that a, a decent little giant or carry hard comes up on the market, I never have the money. And when I do have the money, uh, there's nothing good to actually be found. So I decided to take matters into my own hands during this quarantine period, and uh, I built my own. Uh, what I use as a base is actually a pneumatic hammer that some of you may have already seen uh, being used here at the shop. Uh, I actually had two of them, and one was just kind of partially worked on, uh, never completely finished. So I decided to stop that build, uh, which had obviously stalled, and I used that as the base, as the foundation to make this mechanical hammer. So let's take a quick tour. So it all started with the tire and I had this already set up air hammer project and it kind of morphed from there. And you can see that we're adding some things, kind of mocking it up a little bit. It looks pretty good. This was actually the top. It's all peened together before plug welding. And the original spring design was based on an old Bradley idea. And it worked really well, except uh, it just didn't move quite right. It seemed to stick every once in a while. Uh, so, I thought about changing it and then something broke. Uh, so that gave me the opportunity to go ahead, make my own springs, which we heat treated some 1075, uh, went ahead, modified the hammer, tensioned them up. And the only issue was that they would kind of stall a little bit. So I put a helper spring in there. Uh, here you can actually see the motion of them and I decided that doubling up those springs would actually be a little bit better, uh, give a little bit more stiffness, but also add some protection just in case one of them catastrophically failed. All in all, I'm really happy with how uh, steady this hammer is. That's one and a half inch round, and it was still doing a, a fine job of moving it. Uh, this is uh, one and a quarter by half inch, and it's uh, really just taking a bite down on that. Uh, and again, everything seems to be pretty darn solid, uh, and uh, those combination dies work really well for even drawing down a, a taper using the flat sides. Thanks guys for watching, really hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you have any questions by all means, feel free to comment down below, I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible, otherwise uh, there's also a, a thread on iForge Iron that you can uh, go ahead and join in, if you're not familiar with iForge Iron, great place for uh, learning about blacksmithing, uh, even bladesmithing, building hammers, you know, building hydraulic presses, you name it, uh, I've been on there for years and uh, can't highly recommend it more. So, uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed it, and we hope to see you here in the shop sometime soon. Take care, stay safe.